Hi, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. We're talking about a, an exciting and wonderful night of musical theater. I'm excited to introduce you to Raul Labresh and Matt Brennan. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks Thank so you. much for having us. I'm glad to chat with you. We're talking about Into the Woods, mm -hmm. and this is a show that I'm excited to share with viewers at home. What is the show about? Uh, it is a fractured fairy tale, I guess the best way to talk it. Uh, four fairy tales that people are familiar with, Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, Rapunzel, um, and Jack and the Beanstalk are all melded together. And my friend Matt here is as the baker. It's his job to go out and get things from each of those different storybook characters in order for he and his wife to have a child, which is kind of the basis of the Rapunzel story. Um, but uh, And through their journey, they interact with those characters, kind of goof everything up. And then in the second act, they have to put it all back together and make it right again by working together. So it's a, it's a real interesting metaphor on life in general. We have to go into the woods, and sometimes we muck things up. But if we work together, we can usually straighten, straighten them out. So A good life lesson as well as yeah. some great entertainment. I can only imagine there is so much that goes into a production like this behind the scenes, things that we often don't think about. What are some of the challenges that you've faced in getting this production up and running? Yeah, Stephen Sondheim is a challenge in itself. He wrote in a way that when you take a, a, a magnifying glass to it, it doesn't make sense, but when you step back to the larger picture, it's incredible how he wove everything together. So trying to find out how those little pieces fit together in every single scene or every single line of text that he uses. Uh, it's hard, but it's it's a fulfilling uh, challenge. And it's a very complex show, technically. Yeah. I mean, we, we're really blessed with just a wonderful group of, of people behind the scenes. Um, Kim Moore, our scene designer, is just a crazy and wonderful woman that has designed an incredible set for us. And, uh, and uh, people doing lighting design and sound design that are just really involved in trying to find all the ways to make these pieces uh, fit together in a really powerful way. I'm mean, just really, really proud of our community and having the, the kinds of talent that we have and the kinds of uh, attention to detail that not only the actors are doing on a daily basis as they master the parts, but behind the scenes to make it all just wow. <laughs> so. And to your point, uh, similar to life and the show, mm -hmm. everybody needs to work together, That's right. mm -hmm. get through it, and what an incredible outcome you're going to have. Let's Talk about the Sock Prairie Theater Guild, as this is put on by that mm -hmm. organization. Mm -hmm. Wonderful organization. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, younger members that are on the board now, uh, and some old stalwarts that have been there for many, many years. But it's just a, a really committed group of, of uh, folks that love the arts, love children, love being involved in theatrical things. They have families that Sock Prairie Theater Guild always does a, a children's show that's in, actually in their mission statement. Oh, nice. So, and now just more recently, have started doing the bigger musicals um, as a, a way to outreach to even more of the community, and uh, it's just a fantastic group of people. Mm -hmm. they're, they're really very hardworking, very invested in all elements of the show, want it to be successful, working you know, multiple different ways, sets and you know, construction and producing programs and whatnot, and all of them are committed to the highest degree of excellence. So it's, it's a real blessing to be a part of that. Sounds like so. a great group. Yes. For folks who might be thinking about coming to see this production. Thinking? They must come. Okay. They must come. <laughs> so, Not so, optional. They want riveting. That's riveting. You must come. So, but. Let's talk about what they can expect to see. Yeah. Uh, the talent involved in this uh, production, all from the, the community that we're a part of, is really, really impressive. Um, from high school students that will knock your socks off to uh, adults that haven't sang in years. The talent is, is just so wonderful to be a part of. And the show itself um, is a great vehicle to, to show off of that talent. So it's going to be just an incredible yeah. final product. I mean, it's everything from you know professional level singers. Matt's been a professional singer for a number of years. Lindsay Giese, who plays our Cinderella, is a professional singer. Matt Aspinwell, who plays his better three quarters, the baker's wife, <laughs> um, is a professional yes. singer and vocal instructor. Just and our kids that are going off to college now are going to New York, you know, to be professional singers and, and theatricians. And so the level of I, I have to say I've done, done the show three times, this is my third, and this is by far the most even cast I've ever had. So I think people can expect to just be like, 
wow, this is a community theater group. I, I would put it on par with any regional theater group, honestly, because we just happen to be at the right time, at the right place, with the right group of people, and it's magic. I don't know how else to describe it. It's one of those things where I keep telling the cast nightly, this doesn't happen very often. Enjoy this while it's going on because it's just very, very special what you've got going right now. Wow. Well, that sounds magical. I'm, I'm intrigued. I can't wait to see it. It's, again, uh, July 12th, 13th, and 14th at 7 p.m. and July 15th at 2 p.m. So make sure you get tickets at sptheaterguild.org. Thank you so much for sharing this Thank with you. us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate Into it. the woods we go. Into the yeah. woods we go. <laughs> Again, Raul and Matt, thank you so much to all of our guests for joining us on Talk of the Town today. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time right here on 57.